This how-to video is going to describe how to change vias in an existing design. Now, you normally set the vias up using the constraint manager to give you the vias that you want to use on a net by net basis. Um, but maybe halfway through the design, you have a design change, you, you change your design intent, and you might want to change which vias you use. So we can use this really, really useful function called tools pad stack replace. Um, the options menu changes, so it's important to have this pinned out so you can you can see this. Um, we can then either use the browse button to pick the vial we want to change or we can just left mouse button on the vial that we want to change this populates the old name we can then browse for a new name or we'll use the filter to just locate vias uh, and then if I pick a via let's go and pick via 18 and click OK now I could click on the single via replace mode which would change just this individual via or I'm just going to do the whole design with all the vias here so we'll just hit replace and that will very very quickly go and change all the vias in our design. Once that's done that's obviously changed the whole vias but maybe I want to, to change these just in a local area rather than doing it on, on a, a the, the whole board so what I can do is I can make sure I'm in general edit mode to start off with and then I can use some of the right mouse button functionality so I can use the right mouse button uh, super filter and we'll just have vias and then I'll also use the right mouse button selection set and we'll select by polygon so I can do a left mouse button to then select a polygon area of the device that I want to change. Double click will confirm the window and you can see they then highlight. I can hover over one of the vias, use the right mouse button, replace pad stack, selected instances and then I get this filter again so I can then search for vias. Let's go back to the original via and very very quickly the vias change back to what they were.